Hello everybody! Um, welcome to our new office. We have found a tiny, tiny corner, corner that is suitable for filming just at the moment. Obviously we only moved in two days ago. Yeah. I so mean. there's quite a lot of stuff everywhere. But we've you know we've put some fabric up, we've got some flowers, and we've yeah. done that especially because we need to tell you about our first pattern of the year. Yay. First away for it pattern of 2024. Obviously things are a bit different this year. We're doing eight patterns. So this officially isn't our January pattern, it's our first pattern of the year. Yeah. And we would like to introduce to you the Margot dress. So Margot is a really classic pretty, quite feminine fitted dress. So the main features are, we've got version one on Chloe. She's a raglan dress. So you've got a seam running down here. <laughs> That's a great demonstration. Um, she has got French darts in the front for fitting. So they're kind of coming up diagonally there. Um, Chloe in version one has got these gorgeous bell sleeves that are sort of three quarter length, so floaty and soft and beautiful. There's and a, there's, there's a, a dart, dart at the top well. for fitting. And then you have an A-line skirt on the bottom with dots at the front and the back. Chloe's is just below the knee. I'm sure we'll pop some photos yeah. up so you can see full length. Um, and then the difference is for version two, which is myself, and then on the mannequin here that Salma wore, is that you've got a full length sleeve and it's got a dart in here, which creates a sort of quite a gentle lantern shape. And depending on the fabric you use, which we'll talk about in a bit, you can kind of accentuate, accentuate that or not. And then it, version two also has a, a sort of mini skirt length, so it's quite short and cute. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of fabrics, what fabric yes. is yours? So this of? is a silk cotton, so mm -hmm. it's it's so soft, I wish you could feel it. Um, <laughs> and it's really floaty, really float, lots of drape, which works perfectly on the arms here. And it's slightly sheer, so if you can, I don't know if you can see in this light, but where the raglan bodice is here, um, it's all lined from this point and then we've also lined the skirt as well so leaving the the sleeves to be slightly sheer so it has a lovely effect yeah. over the shoulders here it's really <laughs> nice and it works so this pattern works so well in the floatiness yes of um the sort of chiffon-esque fabrics yes. i'm in a viscose as well um which it works really well in like i said it doesn't sort of hold the lantern shape as much in the sleeve but if you really want that lantern shape then something like a cotton poplin um yes. you'll see in Salma's photos it really holds that gentle yeah, shape it'll press really nicely. nicely and give it much more sharp slightly softly tailored look oh nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think like the heaviest you want to go is probably i think quilting cotton might push it mm. too far but a cotton poplin cotton lawn would be your options for whole if you want the more of the shape but then viscoses, crepes, chiffon-esque fabrics, silks, oh, oh, would be divine. That would be lovely. And we've been talking a lot about, like, in the office, about sort of the styling of Margot and how different all the versions look and how excited I am to see all the different versions that come out of this pattern because I think it's got a million and one possibilities yes. of what it could be. Because you're wearing yours this weekend. Yes, to a wedding. So, because it's obviously this lovely cotton silk, I feel really quite fancy in it. It's just below the knee. So with some heels... It's fancy, it's, right? It's it feels glam. fancy and glam, yeah. um, but still really comfortable. And I think you get that with the sort of the softer neckline. It's not That's too it. low cut. It's fitted, but not too not too tight. It's, yeah, it's, very, it's quite a classy shape, isn't yeah. it? And then we've got photos of Salma in this version with trainers, yeah. where she looks like super sporty and cool. It looks really cool. Really cash. Yeah, because you could put it with a denim jacket or a yes. leather jacket. Um, and some jewellery and you're you're good to go. It'd be That's nice. It. And then I'm day like dress. halfway on the spectrum yeah. of like I've come to work today, but I'm also going to the pub this evening. And I will be wearing this now I'm <laughs> it's allowed. It's a good Friday to. dress, isn't it? It actually? is, it's, it's a really, really good, good Friday, Friday dress. dress for when you're like oh, it's, I'm still going to work but maybe you want to look a bit fancy. Yeah. And depending on the fabric you choose, you can go with a print and make yes. it bolder, or you could go with what a classic solid colour. That's it. And we also just we were talking and saying that you could actually do different colours. So you could have um, different colours on the sleeves, which would create a nice effect yes, as well. Maybe yeah. do pattern and um, plain. That would be very cool, especially mm. in something sheer. I mm. think it would be amazing if this was almost, almost see-through completely. Yeah. And then you'd have it quite Imagine striking. like a, a black, really see-through here, yeah. and then like a, I don't know, like a patterned black 
fabric. Yeah, yeah maybe a black with a metallic in yes. for the main part. That would be, that'd be very evening-y, wouldn't it? It would. That yeah. would be glam. Be nice. Okay, I'm into this. I'm <laughs> into this. Um, so, we cannot wait to see your Margot's pop-up. Yeah. We have lots of pattern insiders um, that have made their versions and they will be popping up on Instagram. We're very grateful to them. They get the pattern early and they make some <laughs> lovely, lovely versions to show you all the potential of what our patterns can mm. be. Um, so if you're looking for those on Instagram, then you want to look for the hashtag SOI Margot Dress and also use that as well if you're sharing your version too because we can't wait to see them. Yes. So we're very happy to um, include Margot in our collection. So of course, like all our patterns, Margot comes in sizes 6 to 30. Um, she is a PDF pattern. Um, so you can get her instantly. Also, we have our big format printers, so if you want the PDF instantly, but you don't want to do all the cutting and sticking, <laughs> tell us to print one out and we'll send it in the post to you. And um, if you're not in the UK, then you'll still get the A0 file that you can print close to you anyway. So there's no excuses <laughs> for not sewing up a Margot straight away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we can't wait to see your versions and we can't wait to show you more of Margot and you'll see yes. lots more in the weeks to come.